All right, well, we're back again. We've been on a little adventure the last two weeks, fishing all over the country, and I had to come and see my boy David. That's right, Big Fish David. Big swim baits, big smallmouth, big largemouth. Last time we came here, 25 pounds of smallmouth, dude. You said we might catch some big old largemouth today. We're here at Lake Wilson, right here at the dam. This is my this is my man right here. If you, if you didn't see the episode from before, Giant Smallmouth, we're gonna drop a link down below. You gotta check this thing out. It's stupid, okay? It's stupid. Now we're a little behind the big smallmouth bite, but we might get some big largemouth. Still might catch a couple big smallmouth. It's gonna be awesome. Big swim baits. I'm liking it. We got our we got our portable GPS here. This is a little secret little spots. We can't put secret spots in this one. Secret spots are in this one. This is this, this is very valuable. It's a little portable. <laughs> so let's get this thing in the water, dude. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be. I hope it's gonna be crazy. It should be crazy. The last time we caught 25 pounds, he apologized all day. He's like, dude, I'm sorry we didn't catch him. He was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. The numbers were terrible. The size was okay. The numbers were terrible. <laughs> let's get this. Just go. Come on, let's go. Letting it sink like there's one right there. First bite, dude. Oh, nice large mouth. This is a green one. What are you doing in here? Go. Dude, that didn't take long. Dude, you're the man. David's the man. Except he's a little old rat. He's a little rat. Look at three pounder, dude. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a three pounder. Large mouth. There's some there's some large mouth spot hybrids. What? In this lake. Just happened. First cast. Spot lock, dude. Spot lock is the deal. We got the trolling motor set on spot lock. He's just sitting here holding us on his little special spot. Game on, dude. Minn Kota spot lock. That's a, that's a crazy, dude. All right, so we're gonna start off with the three quarter. How long do I let it sink? Just a little bit. Just Few seconds, two seconds. It's, it doesn't take long. You're coming with about three miles an hour of current. So there he is. White bass. White bass. A little white bass right there. Bunch of those dudes around. Hey, real quick before before I forget, so check this out. Afco life jacket, which is cool. But we have the Afco jacket right here. Really, really nice. So it's got a wind break in it, so the, the air doesn't get through it bad. And so that's available. We're gonna drop links down below. Check out Afco. They got all kind of stuff: rain gear, hats, cool hats. Even got the SMC hat. So guys, if you want this special hat right here, the only place to find it is on Afco's website. So be sure to check the link down below and get you some be part of the team. Check it out. What are we going to throw here? Biggin. Biggin. I got biggin right here. Exactly. How long do I let it sink? A long time right there. Watch it. They hit it on the way down sometimes? Yeah. They hit it. Come around that corner? Right off of that corner. All right, it's on the bottom. Just start reeling it. Slow. This crawl. slow, like this. There's one. Oh, I had one. Huh? It's a dang. I know. Let's sit now. Nah. <laughs> I had one. I don't know if it was a white bass, but it wasn't a peckety peck. I mean, it was just a thump, and I moved him a little bit. There's one. That, that small mouth. We're in the right spot. Oh! What are you doing? Ah! Like a three and a half pounder. Mm -hmm. It's a nice fatty. He hit out in the, in the slack water. All right, you know, in fishing, there's all kind of new technology popping up all the time, but you've heard about the brand new Minn Kota Ultrex, and uh, I've had this on my boat now for two years. Unbelievable. Check it out. So here's what's cool about it. Number one, 
it's an electric steer, okay? So even though there's cables, there's a traditional cable here, it has a motor that helps steer that along. So there's hardly any resistance, you know what I mean? So in, in, at Okeechobee, when I'm in that thick grass and I'm trying to like turn the head through the hydrilla or the cattails, it's very effortless, okay? That's awesome. Number two, spot lock, I love it. Right now we're sitting, we're sitting on a spot, basically haven't moved at all. We hit this little button right here and it holds us. Look at the pedal, see it's all readjusted right now. See the trolling motors, it knows where we are based on the waypoint and it holds us here on this exact spot. It has a north up and it has a continuous like most, most trolling motors do, but spot lock is the feature I love the most. Um, and I love the effortlessness of the cable steer. And you know, for you guys that are thinking like, well, is the cable steer, you know, is it fragile with that motor? You know, is it having problems with the trolling motor? No, it's not. There's zero problems with these trolling motors. I've had them now for two years, haven't had any problems. I don't know anybody that's even had a problem with it. So if you want to invest in a great trolling motor, check out that Minn Kota Ultrax. For fishing like this, it's uh, it's awesome. Spot lock is the deal for sure. So, it ain't feeling right though. No. Oh, it is feeling pretty right, my friend. Giant. Here, 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 here. Oh my gosh. Dude. What? Spot. Look at that tail. What? They don't like that big bait, do they? God. <laughs> Dude, what a donkey, what a donkey. Look at that, guys. That's a big old fatty right there. That's a pre-spawner, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Her tail's about gone, I know, look at that. she's still got the belly. Wow, well, that's gonna help our cause right there. We'll put her on the big side. This guy's, this guy's like the magician. He's like the master. There he is. Feels like a smallmouth. Small Hello, darling. I love you. I love you. I love you. Look at that. From Cumberland to Lake Wilson. Just can't seem to get away from them. There's one. Gonna jump! It's a smallie! No, largemouth. Largemouth back here in the seam. I just, what I did is I threw down the current the backside. Yeah. Hey, 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 darling. Dude, look at that. Three and a half. Big old thick one. That was cool. I'll catch another one back there, I'm sure. Crack motion, crack motion. There's a big one. Feels like a big large mouth or a drum. Yeah. Doing the little... Doing a little twirly twirl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You go out fast. Up in the Got him in the nose. He was sniffing it. Look at hey. <laughs> it's, a, it's called inflamed. He needs some uh he needs some situations down there, dude. He needs a pad. He needs a little butt pad. Dude, I feel bad for him, man. It's like after a bad night in Mexican. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can you see my drag up? Uh-oh. Situation. Is it a drum or is it a large mouth? Yeah, it's a drum. Drum? Yeah. Come here. Probably not like that one. Yeah, he's. Get out of here. Oh, hold on. I said it was going to get a bite. It wasn't supposed to be one of them, though. I think they just let it go. There's one. There's one. Coming up. Oh, that's the right kind. Big large. Nice large mouth, dude. Look at that one. 
little short, fat pre-spawner, it looks oh. like. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. That is so crazy to me to catch these largemouth out here in this current one. Look at that, guys. That's a big one. That's a big, thick one. Look at that. That's a four plus pound, 17 incher. That's a five. That's over five, dude. That's over five. Two big old fat largemouth right there. Dude, that thing looked like a little rhinos rhinosaurus. No, rhinosaurus. That thing looked like a rhinoceros. 20 pounds just like that. And we missed it morning bite. I was trying to get up early, but Brandon. Oh, well, man, he's working you like that. I don't mind. I know we'll it's all Brandon's fault. I want to leave at five. We'll, we'll still catch He's like, dude. Brandon doesn't set an alarm clock anymore. I hate it whenever I'm on the road and then I wake up and I don't know. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Jump it, about to come up. About to come up. Oh, yeah. Another large mouth. Maybe not. <laughs> I'll grab him. Oh, hey now, we get a call. Yeah, that'll call. Cool. He's smashing me on my home lake. You deserve it. You got me bad last time. I've been working. I've been I've been practicing my fishing lately. That's what I've been doing. Like 15 days straight of fishing. Yeah. This is crazy or what? I mean, honestly, guys, this is a cool spot. I've fished here a couple times with, with David, and he's uh he's never let me down so far. But you know what we're doing? We're throwing swim baits. Obviously, you saw that. Here, we're throwing the here. Let me show you. Let me show you my rod. Come here. Let me show you my setup. Basically, a scrounger. Just a little fluke body on the back of it. And uh, 17. I'm throwing 17 pound p line on this a little Akuma reel. And then that's that rod. And then my other, my big rod. Is right here and this is 20 pound on this one this is one of my you gotta check these rods out guys the kuma tcs is my signature series rods a flip and stick 17 pound p-line technical and uh really really good sensitive line same deal eight to one reel and and that's it that's pretty much the get-go i like fluorocarbon a lot anyways time to catch another one i don't know let's go blowhole we got blowhole we gotta go. This is a major deal. This is a major deal. We gotta go. It's the blowhole. I don't know what this means, but I just know that we gotta go. You should know what it means. The biggest bass you've seen on this lake jumped off my line there. It's a it's an explosion of water. I don't know what this means, but it's important. We have a situation going on right now. This is crazy looking, dude. Jump in there. I wouldn't survive. Dude, you would not survive that. It's the blowhole. Do you ever hear anybody talk about it? in the lock. Boo! Air! I saw y'all sitting on my wall this morning. And we didn't catch a fish off of it because y'all picked it over already. Now, you know what? Shame on y'all. David, I, you know what? I got a 7-2 here yesterday. Did you? And I even took a picture of the scale. So nobody back home would say, oh, nuts, that's not a 7-2. <laughs> You're only guessing. There's a bite. Girl. That's not a drum. Large mouth. On my little uh on my little wacky thingy the jiggy. I don't even know what you call the thing. Weighted weighted swing net rig net rig. Huh. Just a little one. I got one. <laughs> He's mad. You got a mad. Oh my goodness, dude. It's a nice one, too. Look at this one. He's mad. 
but I got him on that little little shaky head thing. Hoo hoo. Bite. Oh, he dropped it, little turd. I was about to t set the hook. Now I got him still. No, I didn't. Ah, he was swimming with it good. This one swam about six feet. I was letting Brandy get the camera on. I should have just set the hook. That's why I got a camera on my chest. Big one, dude. Drum, I think. Yeah, it's a drum. That was cool, though. I saw the fish. Yeah. I saw that fish on the panoptics. So I wasn't sure if it was a smallmouth or a, His head. a drum. Look at this top of his head. I sit there shining. There he is. I saw him on the panoptics, it looks, dude. It looks like a deep water, like some just got here. Yeah. It's cool. I haven't done that. I mean, I, usually I'll find them like going down banks and stuff, or but I'm not literally seeing them swimming around there in this flat. See the blobs. That's the second fish I've caught doing that. That's pretty cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a head shaker, I think. Head shaker. We're hooked up with a head shaker. Ooh, I bet that's a big one. Nah, it's not very blue. No? It might even be a whitey. It kind of quit shaking and started swimming. It's whitey. No? I mean, yeah. stripey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stripey. That's a stripey. You'll see a, you'll see a big old crappie floating or stunned out there every once in a while. I get it. Yeah, that, that's a small That's look. the right kind. He's going to jump. Oh, oh! oh that was the color. Dude, about took the rod out of my hand. Yeah, I know. He's a four plus. Might have been a fiver. I thought it was a five pounder. It looked five to me. It was chunky. That was Golly. a three I got, I got killed today. I didn't catch many. He caught most of them. I, I caught so many, he wants to quit. He deserves it, though. He smashed me the last time pretty bad. I think I caught one of those big smallmouth last time. You caught all you of them. That's what we going to have before we started last time. I know. But I did good today. But yeah. see, I've been on a 15 day fishing swing, dude. I'm like, I'm tuned in. I'm tuned in a little. Shaky to shake thing. How crazy was that, guys? We had a ball, absolute ball. We're gonna weigh these fish. I'm curious what they weigh. I think they're gonna weigh 21. Yeah, which is an awesome bag. Awesome bag. And, and I mean, that's crazy. So let's see what the weight. What do you think? Whoa, hey now, hey now, slow down, slow down. I can't believe how fat their tails are, man. Look at that one right there, number one. And they're easy. Number two, the right kind. It's kind of cool that last time we were cut all, we caught all smallmouth, and this time we pretty much caught all largemouth. Big old nice. Now this is the big side over here. I think we got more than twenty-two. Oh, <laughs> the mean too. Yeah, those are those current fish. What? 22.58. You were closer. 22.9. 22.58. As exact. You are, you are exact. That is exact. That is exact. <laughs> Put these back in here real quick. Hey, dude, as always, awesome day on the water, my friend. Not David, bad. you've got this place figured out. It's unbelievable. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This guy is the man. And uh, like I said, we're going to drop a link in the description. So the last time I was out here, we caught all smallmouth. And we caught a bigger bag than that of smallmouth. So go check it out. Thanks for everything, guys. We'll see you. Boom!